Hi there, Becky here from 168 Fitness. Over the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts and action plan for how to uh, lose weight or maintain weight before a holiday or special occasion. Um, so I'm gonna talk about the two main factors that uh, if a client comes to me and says, Becky, I want to lose weight, or um, perhaps they just wanna be a bit more conscious of their weight maintaining it rather than putting on weight, obviously, um, then these are the two key things that they are going to need to look at um, and monitor in order to achieve that either weight loss or weight maintenance goal. Um, so those two key things, I'm gonna talk about one this week and one next week, and then I'm away for a couple of weeks uh, on holiday myself. So these are two things that I'm thinking about over the next couple of weeks as well, um, before my holiday. And uh, this is the sort of thing that you might be thinking about uh, if you've booked a summer holiday or something later on in the year. So uh, the first one I'm gonna talk about today, which is um, exercise, or activity or main thing burning calories that's what we're going to be talking about today and then the second one uh, second topic is going to be about uh, the calories you consume ie the food and nutrition um, that you consume um, in order to achieve those goals okay so this week's topic is exercise and burning calories so uh, my main advice on that I mean I should just point out as well I hate talking about calories because it's not always about calories however if you want to lose weight um, which some people it means burning fat uh, losing fat from their body or um, toning up um, but people call it losing weight they basically want to be a bit slimmer perhaps um, or at least maintain their weight rather than putting on weight because unfortunately when we're not conscious of activity and food it often leads to weight gain even if it's just a, a pound or two um, it often happens that way just because that's how our lives are portion control um, and uh, lower activity levels those sort of things so um, the the key thing for losing weight and maintaining weight um, is calories unfortunately um, so as much as I don't like um, making it all about calories and counting calories because that's boring and that's not particularly how we should uh, live our lives in my opinion um, it needs to be done unfortunately there's no way around it in order to lose weight you are going to need a calorie deficit that is fact uh, there's no arguing with that. Um, so that can work in many different ways, i.e. doing more exercise to burn off uh, more energy or consuming less to um, to create that energy deficit as well, calorie deficit. Um, so yeah, we're going to talk about both sides of that. But the only way really uh, to achieve the goal of losing weight or maintaining weight is to monitor your calories, okay? So this week, exercise, burning the calories. That is what I'm going to talk about. So this advice is really for someone who perhaps has uh, dabbled in sort of some kind of fitness before, uh, whether they've been to the gym or doing classes, running, whatever it is, um, you've been doing it perhaps uh, previously this year or uh, started back sort of in the past couple of weeks, but you're just needing a little bit more of a boost or you're just wanting to get started because you've got that summer holiday uh, booked in uh, for a few months time. So this advice is kind of beginner level, um, but hopefully you'll be able to take some um, bits of information and encouragement if you've already been doing exercise regularly, similar to myself, of course. Um, but the main thing that I'm going to talk about, it, it actually is really, really simple, um, the, the advice I'll give you. It's not necessarily easy, though, unfortunately. Um, there's no magic button for it. I can't just um, get you the results you want with no effort. Um, it wouldn't be worth doing even if I could do that. So... Um, you would you need to put in some effort and and unfortunately for that effort you're going to need to put in some time uh, and prioritize it as well so i always talk about setting your goals doing an action plan etc etc um, you kind of already need that but if you've got a holiday booked or a special occasion coming up that's your goal i would think um, and then your action plan is to take my advice this week and next week and that will give you a great start and hopefully keep you going for the next few weeks whilst I'm away as well. So this week then, uh, exercise. So as I said, for beginner sort of level, we're talking about um, raising your heart rate. So we want to be burning calories and that can be 
um, by doing walking if you are absolute beginner level or you've got an injury and that is the only thing you can do. Walking is fantastic. I mean, it's great for everyone anyway to be walking. I like walking myself, um, but because I can run, I am able to run, I've got the time to do it and um, I've got the ability to do it, then I choose running because I know in a, a shorter period of time I'm going to burn more calories than if I'm walking. Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. Um, so if, if walking is your only option, that's sort of level one, I want you to walk. That be your chosen exercise. If that's what you enjoy, if that's what uh, is going to get you out the door, if that's what's going to get you active, burning calories, walking is a great start. It's low impact, you can do it anywhere, it's free, fantastic. Do that if that's your uh, first choice and your preference for doing it, for burning calories. Walking is great. Then we've sort of got things like swimming, maybe cycling, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying these aren't um, aren't good choices of exercise. It's just that things like swimming, uh, especially, that takes a lot more time because you've got to get in the pool, perhaps do the pool, it costs money, um, getting out the pool, getting ready. If you want to do swimming, great, but you've got to put the time in and the effort and plan, make sure you've got the swimming times available to you to fit around your schedule. Um, and cycling as well, you're going to need a bike, obviously you can do it anytime, anywhere, and it's free, um, but you're going to need to plan that a little bit more. Um, so swimming, cycling, those sort of things are great. Uh, fitness classes, DVD workouts at home, um, having uh, maybe a mini trampoline or a static bike at home would be good as well. Um, those, those activities are great, burning calories as well, um, lots of options there. Uh, you've got your gym workouts as well, uh, strength and conditioning. It doesn't have to be cardio in order to burn calories. It can be um, using weights or um, machines in the gym. Uh, as long as you're moving, basically, that is the main thing. It's a good, um, good idea to get some cardio because that's good for fitness and um, health as well. Um, but just burning calories, moving more than you usually do is the advice uh, that I want to give you. Um, and then you've got kind of your ultimate in calorie burning is running. Um, I haven't found, um, and you might be able to tell, correct me if I'm wrong, tell me uh, if I am, um, but I haven't found any exercise that burns as many calories in the same time period as running does. Um, and that's just because it's using the whole body. It is... Um, it's quite uh, tough on the body sometimes. Obviously, if you're running faster, that's going to burn more calories as well. So sprinting, you can do interval running if you want to, whether that's walking and running or whether that's sprinting and uh, jogging in between. Um, whatever level you're at, you can you can mix and match it. Interval running is fine or steady running, um, but that is going to burn the most calories for you. So that's why a lot of people do want to get into running, but it's not the only thing to be doing. So all of those things I listed before running um, are absolutely fantastic. If you cannot run or you don't want to run, um, that's fine. I'm not going to say that you have to run. It's just if you if you fancy giving it a go, you're going to burn a lot more calories um, than you would if you were walking or doing something a bit more lower intensity at the gym. Um, so that gives you an idea of kind of what uh, to be doing and then how much you need to be doing it does vary on um, depending on what your level is at now. If you are absolutely zero uh, level of activity at the moment, perhaps you do a little bit of walking just in your kind of everyday lifestyle, um, then my first goal for you uh, would be to start off with maybe three 20 minute um, sort of moderate intensity uh, exercise or activity sessions. So if walking's your thing, then do sort of three days, 20 minutes, um, just to get you started. So that would be sort of 60 minutes in total over the week. Um, if you've already been doing some exercise or activity, um, then sort of a great level to aim for would be sort of five days of half an hour on each. So um, two hours and 30 minutes each week, that would be. Um, and if you are already doing sort of 30 minutes a day, five days, five to six days a week, then you might want to up that to 45 minutes or an hour. Um, but you don't necessarily need to increase the uh, duration. You just maybe need to either do uh, work harder in the time um, or add on just a little bit of extra intensity um, on other days or in addition to the exercise session that you're already doing. So for example, if you were walking for uh, 30 minutes each day, uh, five to six days a week, you might want to add on 
at the end of that walking session five minutes of uh, gentle running at the end and then that's going to burn maybe something like 50 calories extra each day um, that would be a good start or if you swim for an hour three times a week um, then you might want to add on uh, some quick sprint uh, lengths at the end uh, or add on a couple of lengths generally uh, do an hour and 10 minutes or just do it faster in the in the 60 minutes that you usually do or add on something different you might want to walk to and from the swimming pool uh, rather than driving and then that would add on a bit of extra calorie burning um, so hopefully that's making sense you can add on extra uh, time if you've got that time and if you haven't got that time or you're already doing plenty um, of uh, like the duration is 60 minutes um, or currently, then you uh, can increase the intensity and that will burn some extra calories, okay? So it's not always about just adding on extra time. But if you're not currently doing sort of, I would say the maximum really, the sort of people that are watching this video, the maximum sort of um, amount of exercise each week that you should be doing. I mean, there's exceptions to this, but really sort of six hours a week um, would be uh, sort of a maximum amount of activity I'd expect from uh, from clients and from uh, yourselves. Um, obviously, if you're training for a marathon, similar to me, you're probably going to be doing more than that um, time-wise um, and longer sessions as well. But um, really, no more than an hour um, is is needed from you at one time and also sort of six days a week as well so that's why i come to the six hour um, equation okay so anyway i'm waffling now so this week i want you to focus on the exercise and i always start with exercise with clients because um, it's sort of getting you into a good mindset the the power of exercise is fantastic in that it helps you to feel good so even if in this first week uh, when you start doing some kind of activity or exercise as we've discussed even if you don't get any fitter or you don't burn um, any extra calories or lose any weight or, or whatever um, then you will just feel better from the endorphins uh, that the happy hormones that exercise gives you and then that's going to help motivate you for that feel good factor like taking drugs it is it's like a drug for a happy hormone drug for your, your body um, that is going to help power you to and motivate you to do it again next week and then the week after that and the week after that and it's it keeps it gets addictive that's how exercise gets addictive but that's also how you get the results because you keep doing it week in week out because you enjoy the feeling it gives you so that's why i want you to pick an activity or an exercise that you want to do and you enjoy um, so that then you're more likely to keep going with it because if you try and start running just because i said that burns the most calories then you probably aren't going to keep going into week two because you probably hate it in week one um, and then you're not going to get any results so pick an exercise that actually you want to do and enjoy and it's the right level for you and and do it for the right um, duration that works for you and your schedule because you've got to maintain it you've got to be consistent with whatever you start doing in week one um, yeah pick up pick up it so it suits you and you're more likely to keep it up longer term because we're not just talking about two weeks of of um, action and be able to get the results we're talking uh, maybe three months leading up to the summer holidays um, in order to get some really good results uh, losing weight and um, or maintaining it if that's your goal uh, so this week then getting started with the exercise and then next week I'll be talking about food and and calories and um looking at nutrition and things like that as well because that's the other important thing sort of getting that calorie balance um, or deficit if you're trying to lose weight so this week thinking about exercise decide what you're going to do plan it into your schedule get started send me some messages to let me know you've started or if you need any extra help or advice that's what personal training is all about so do get in touch with me if you want any extra support or motivation and i'll see you next week for some more top tips